Hi everybody, we're um, reading a new chapter, um, Nicolaides, The Natural Way to Draw, and we're going to read um, section 15, which is an approach to the study of anatomy. So this week we are going to be doing some drawings of some muscles and skeletons. Um, Nicolaides is, uh, well, as you hear in this chapter, he's, um, he's not all for that, but I think that, you know, it's important um, for us to, uh, to use it like as a, as a structure sometimes. So an approach to the study of anatomy, the basis of action, the human figure is built for action. And the best approach to the study of anatomy is that which constantly relates to the anatomy of the figure to the possibility of movement. The shapes of the body in action are entirely different from those of the dormant body. It's the gesture that gives everything its shape. The bones and muscles have been modeled into their form by action through centuries of existence and those forms are not static. If anatomy were illogical, it would be terribly difficult, but this basis of action makes it logical. What you need mainly to know is the movement of the figures and its limitations where it can and cannot move. Books on anatomy do not make it sufficiently clear that the muscles and bones are all covered with fat and flesh and that the nude figure is the bones, the muscles, the fat, and the flesh as a unit. There are many times when these muscles merge with one another in their action or lack of action under the cover of this fat and flesh so as to create a unit of almost abstract form. That is, if you do not think of bones or muscles or flesh separately, but as a unit, it becomes itself a new thing and it must eventually be thought of as that new thing, as a means to an end. Anatomy in the hands of the artist is merely another instrument for making the figure articulate and clear. It is never to be thought of as an end in itself, but only as a means to an end. It is quite possible for a student to acquire sufficient knowledge of anatomy through his knowledge of the figure without having made any special study of the subject or ever even having heard the word. The archaic Greek uh, Greeks knew little of anatomy and their figures are anatomically inaccurate, but they constitute great works of art. The knowledge of anatomy can become an interesting thing for itself without regard to art. But purely anatomically, anatomical drawings of the figure are like the drawings a botanist without art training might make of flowers. They are good diagrams, but are unimportant as far as art is concerned. The student who self-consciously displays his knowledge of anatomy on every occasion is apt to be as boring as an impotent and as impotent as the kind of person who feels it necessary to parade his information on any other subject. Anatomy is the one study in which I do not advise students to concern, to concentrate in the beginning, rather approach it lightly and casually in the same way that you would make drawings during a telephone conversation. Think less of the anatomy than of the figure as you know it. Fitting the anatomy into your knowledge of the figure even though your knowledge is not yet exactly correct. I have seen so often a lot of waste energy, disillusionment and disappointment among students because nothing works in the beginning. It takes many drawings, many efforts to relate the information in anatomy charts to what you know of the figure through your other experience with it. Therefore, it's better not to take the study too seriously at first or to devote too much time to it but it should be continued. If it is necessary, the anatomy will become comprehensible to you and you will find yourself more interested, more serious about it and more able to concentrate. So here is uh, you just show Michelangelo's um, study of uh, skeleton. So, um, I think what he's saying is that, and this is what I'm saying, is that we are going to study the skeleton and the bones. We're going to do a few exercises with it, but it's not, um, I think what he's saying is that it's not that important. So 
um, while it is a good idea to have an understanding like, oh, what can the body do? What can the arm do? The proportion of this part of my arm to this arm to my hands, like having a knowledge of that is all is important, but it's not, it's not the end of it. It's the means to the end. So um, it could definitely help you, but kind of being able to capture the, the feeling of a figure, the weight of a figure, the emotion of a figure, the action of a figure, um, all of that is equally, if not more important. So, um, so yeah, so we're going to draw the skeleton, but, um, don't, don't get all, up, don't, just don't take it that seriously. Just, you know, try your best, sketch it out, take in what you can.